right click go to more options okay here you can find out more options in that i have a google collaboratory option okay choose that google collaboratory So I'll give this uh, file name as uh, pandas and data ed. Okay. So first of all, we'll see okay how to create pandas series. Okay. So panda series, which will be just like uh, a Python list, okay? So here I'm creating for creating it. So let me import uh, libraries, import uh, pandas as uh, pd. And I require one more library called as numpy. Import numpy as np. So these are the two libraries which I'm using it. Okay. So execute that state line of cell. So it is connected. now we are executing that cell is completed to make sure that library is imported i'll just print uh, libraries imported so this is how i'll use the print statement here so i got successfully libraries got imported so now i need to create a list uh, sorry series okay so to create series take a list okay or what you can do is we can say pandas series okay that is a variable name ps okay is equal to pd dot capital s series of within that square bracket i'll write the values okay 10 32 54 89 print and a series and print type of ps what is type function will do it will check returns as the data type okay it's actually the data type is series pandas series okay yeah please uh, try this case So first we have created a pandas series. So next is creating data frames. Yeah. 
here we'll discuss how do we create a uh, data frames okay so in order to create data frames there are multiple methods are there one simplest method is is using dictionaries say like how do you create a dictionary okay so i'll create a dictionary like this okay i'll create a dictionary like uh, data which is equal to so this is equal to here i'm having so here we are having um we very uh, we are like uh, index names will take it okay like i'm taking the name as pesit okay mm -hmm. and in that i have few values called as 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay so then i'll create one more key that is called as bit okay so bit so that is uh, keyword is equal to i'll now give some other values like i'll give 21 32 43 54 55 then i'll take up one more like i'll take it here gm it so that is here we have the value is 33 comma 44 comma 55 66 77 okay so this is a dictionary with the uh, three keywords and uh, with the three lists okay so once you have created that three list okay um, now we are going to create a data frame so it will convert it into a data frame you require just a one simple uh, name okay one function okay data frame is equal to pd dot data frame of that particular dictionary which i created just now okay and then you can print it okay so print data frame try this case quickly so try this create an you uh, like uh, data frames okay you don't need to create them most of the cases it will be they will be available directly in the form of an excel sheets and all okay but in case you want to create okay we can make use of this method of creation all right so next uh yeah how do you access them okay and all we'll see that now okay so you want to know the data frame okay dot head Sanjay, Sanjay Hoskal. Yes, sir. Tell me, Sanjay, what this data frame dot head will do? Sir, top five. Yeah, it will return the top five values. Okay, currently I have yes. only five values. It is returning me that. Okay, even if you do tail also, yes, it will return you the last five samples. Same. Yeah. So now, what about this data frame dot shape? so this method will return you the so total number of rows and columns in this okay total you have three columns 1 2 3 column and five rows inside it okay so that's what data frame dot shape will return similarly if you want to try data frame dot uh, index okay so it uh, tells the total what are the range of the indexes okay 0 to 5 okay so this is the range of the indexes okay since you have five rows okay so this is what the indexing will go start from zero it will go up to five that means four up to four it will the index numbers okay you have 0 2 0 1 2 3 4 right with the increment of one each so that's what it returns okay the index numbers then you have data frame dot columns 
so it will returns me uh, returns the headers okay returns returns column headers okay so these are the uh, details which will be uh, returned by this methods okay then similar data frame dot values so it returns so these are numerical values if you want to get out of this you can try the df dot values okay returns all numerical values number of dimensions okay then data frame dot info what this will return shashank ts shashank ts yes, so what this actually returning me data frame dot info it returns me total number of rows available what are their data types can you see that total number of values okay so totally five values are there zero to four three columns are there okay so what are the data type in, in each column it is in 64 okay so what is the memory each of them has taken so only you have 15 elements right five here five five total 15 15 into 8 so 248 bytes of memory they have taken up Okay. So like this, complete information about that data frame is available. Clear, Shushank? So then, okay. okay. So <clears throat> yeah. So this is what it returns. Okay. Similarly, okay. I want to take up only a particular. Okay. So column information like data frame dot. Uh, gmit okay dot value underscore counts okay so let me see what this will return okay you can see here so it is giving me the count of that each values you can see that one right so let uh, let me only print this information can see here. how many times each of those values have been repeated okay say example uh, in this GMIT okay let me uh, change this value 33 here to again 55 I am just recreating that data frame okay and uh, running this statement now can you see here 55 has been repeated two times total counts of the each value okay so that's what value underscore counts will return us okay total count of each value say example you want to count uh, number of particular names available in the particular column okay you can easily do it with the help of value underscore counts method isn't it it's easier to use a single function and do it yeah so like this various functions can be used here any questions on that please let me know please complete these uh, variations okay so once it is done please uh, let me know So I mounted the drive, then I started reading the file, 
okay data dot head will return the first five samples okay so <coughs> so totally you can see here model year make model vehicle class like that so totally how many columns are there yes lakshmi putra reddy so so tell me how do i know that how many number of columns are there without looking at manually so how can i easily get that information which function should i use it's a data dot info huh? data dot info right so it gives you the easiest way to check out total 13 columns are there okay yes, and how the each columns is uh, having a which data type okay so what sort of memory they are taken up what are the uh, like you know the names of the columns and all is easily visible here right so this is the reason you found out right so when i was using a small data so these were not making any sense okay so now when i have a larger data like this okay so these functions become more useful right like this if you start extending the larger data than this okay so then you cannot manually look into the data and uh, do the reviews right so you cannot analyze it manually like you need to use certain functions like this okay fine actually how do you access the column names directly naveshri Navashri. Df dot columns. Data frame dot columns, right? So this is no basis. Yeah, so it is return me that details. Okay, so all the column information is available here. now i want to access a specific column okay how do i do that shashank uh, sorry sheetal pujar sheetal yeah yeah sir yeah i want to access only a specific column say example i want to access the column number called as model how do I know that? The model column will give me the details about uh, which variation in that particular car makes. Okay. How do I get yes, that sir. information? So that you can get it via data of, okay, data dot model. Okay. So this will return me that details. It is not printing all the samples. So first five samples and the last five samples it is printing it. So just for information, because you're totally having zero to thousand sixty six columns are there. Okay. So if you found out there are total thousand sixty six entries are there. Sixty seven. So model that is a name of a particular header you can mention it. So this is one way of accessing the content. So alternatively, you can get the same result via one more method called as data of, okay, within a bracket, I'll mention model. So even this will return me the same information. I want to get multiple uh, columns information, like I'll write data of, okay, model, then comma, I will write uh, I'll take uh, another column which is like uh, transmission so I can say I'll take these three okay
so it is returning one second yeah so now it is throwing the error because when you add more than one uh, header information you need to put two braces okay like you need to give the input in the form of a, a list let us try this now yeah. so it is giving me the required four columns information now now similarly uh, let me check out one option which was not working hmm. returns specified columns okay. no data of I'll take model ER colon transmission okay so when I have this so let us check how many values it is going to return me okay one minute so it is not applying the slice indexing okay let me check why it is not applying actually so guys you try this code whether it will work or not let me know try this code in your systems update me whether this is working or not okay so here you are starting from 1056 to 1066 row and all and column number 456 so here all the rows and column number starting from 10 to the last column will be returned so I have, so you can see here I have 0 to 66 rows and 1 to three columns column number starting from 10 11 12 and 13 okay so let us check this oh it is not returning fuel consumption here okay let me i have to start with nine right here in that case yeah see so 13 columns means 0 to 12 the indexes will be 0 to 12 so uh, 9 to 12 will be updated here. Yeah. So, any, anyone having question on this? Here, I'll show you one method of accessing it. So, this is numerical accessing. Okay, the similar approach can be done with the help of. Uh, what you call location with the uh, numerical and uh, text like column names based one okay so we'll I'll show you how do we do that okay accessing the content using lock method data dot location okay so here i will start with um, again i will take up these header names okay so let me take this fuel consumption highway and fuel consumption compound mpg miles per gallon i'm just mentioning those column names
yeah one second i need to mention one more square bracket so this we tried without using lock method right so not uh, i'll tell you what is the add one second is that correct is sufficient so there is this uh, with a text is not uh, applicable because we have only the numerical indexes okay so then i lock or lock is same for this particular kind of data frame okay so then there are some data frames where the index numbers you can see here so these are also some sometimes these will be uh, strings okay in that case how to use them okay in that case you can use the lock method okay just you can mention the indexes uh, uh, names here okay so you can try this okay uh, as we'll try this with a suitable example in the uh, regular sessions okay so whenever we have the, that kind of data I'll, I'll give a suitable example for that okay. so now <coughs> So next I'll discuss, so now print the information of all vehicles with the engine size 2.0, like I want to only check the 2.0 liter engine uh, details, okay. So only 2.0 engines okay so how do you go how are you going to select it from 1067 samples you cannot go and manually select them right so we'll use the uh, logical indexing here to access that content okay so how it will be how we'll do that okay data dot okay the engine size column the name of the uh, column is engine size okay let us take let me take that engine size column engine size okay which is equal equal to equal equal to 2.0 clear the data dot engine size which is equal to 2.00 okay so it is giving me the true and false values okay for that size wherever that condition meets is true so it is returning me returning uh, the values as true and false these are called as logical indexes okay so i'll use that indexes to get the uh, the vehicle information okay so how i'm going to use it okay so i'll take this again okay, then i'll write data of okay so mention this value okay so now you see what result we are going to get it you can see here all engine sales are 2.0 only filtered out so now we have 158 rows into 13 columns that means so there are 158 uh, cars information which are having engine size 2.0 we have filtered out them now so it's easier right so using this kind of logical indexing logical indexing okay. any question on this please let me know So this guy returns me the true and false condition. When I write data of the true and false values, okay, it only considers and prints the true value, okay. So like this true values, you have around 158 true values are there. So that's why we got 158 returns values here, okay. And if you try this, okay, uh, greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to zero, okay. So in this case, most of the values become true here. Only only one value is false because most of the numbers at the beginning and the end are 2.0 cylinder and uh, three. Okay, only one engine size is 1.5. Okay. Yes. Print 
the info of all vehicles print the information of all vehicles with the fuel consumption city okay more than 10 okay. try this guys print your answers here type your answers in the chat window So what is the solution? So let me check the solution. Yes, it is uh, returning the more than you can see here. The fuel consumption city is more than 10 only. It is showing all the information. Okay. All right. Now I'll ask you people to try this one. Okay. Um, next question is print the information of all the 
vehicles with a fuel consumption more than fuel consumption city more than 10 and okay so engine size okay so more than 2.0 liters okay so try this one i want this should match now okay if the engine size should be more than 2 liters and fuel consumption should be should also be more than in the city should also be more than 10 kilometers okay so try this one right yeah <coughs> we can uh, if required we can add a new we can add new column delete columns okay we can do that okay so example okay so here is one thing okay so here i have combined miles per gallon okay city highway combo okay so what i'll do is i'll add all the three values and divide it by three i'll add all the values and divide by them with a three where divide the values with the three i want that result as a new column okay what i want to do is i want to add the all the three columns uh, mileages okay city mileage highway and combined okay all the three i want to add it and I want to divide that value by 3 okay so then uh, final result I want to put it as a new column okay so average fuel consumption that is a new uh, column I want to create as a average fuel consumption okay so how can we do that so this is the requirement maybe in practical scenarios right in your project maybe like how we can do that can you guys try that now yeah i'll give you people five minutes time i want to add all the three columns and divide them by three right i'll give three minutes time for you people to try this right so you want to add a multiple columns or delete them oh, sorry you want to add multiply or i want to do some changes that updated column you want it as a new column this is how you can make use of it in the practical scenarios any question on this Pritam SP yes sir understood understood Pritam fine Okay guys, uh, now uh, the next task is, okay, only to print, okay, print information of all vehicles, okay, which are compact okay just print the information of all vehicles which are compact try this
Yeah, right now, do, do it quickly. So, let me change my variable to data. Okay. Vehicle class. <coughs> okay. So, here I have updated the data. So that means you can compare it with both uh, numerical values as well as a string type of data okay as simple as that i hope you people are now comfortable with uh, uh, with our data frames okay when you read an excel sheets so this is how you are going to manipulate them read them get the required information okay and okay so anyone having questions please let me know okay so far yeah uh, in this itself there are many variations are there so that actually i'm not going to cover cover them as of now okay so we'll be go like looking into these details little later on if required okay So next I'll show you is the topic called as replacing the values. Okay. So let me take this uh, data frame data dot and so this is your data okay with uh, many variations like say example you want to uh, update this particular column information vehicle class as uh, like su small is there instead of hyphen uh, you want to replace it with the uh, mini suv i don't want it to na be named as suv I want to name it as a mini SUV. Okay, so just uh, we'll try that. How to how we can do that? Okay, so let me show you that. So earlier, SUV small was the uh, vehicle class. Now it has been replaced with the mini SUV. The compact one has been replaced with mini. Okay, so this is how you can update the uh, like replace the values. Okay, so you want to looking at in cylinders. You want to look for the value six and you want to replace it with the 6.1 exactly okay you can do that okay so this is main use of the replace method okay so like this you can make use of this uh, like uh, you know the pandas functions and methods okay guys so this is how we'll be uh, working around with this pandas okay so let's wait for reading the file here okay uh, and yeah the file has been read so let me print this all the samples okay so we have only few samples 0 to 10 okay in that as per the yesterday's discussion we know that there are two missing values are there okay so and with what values we are going to replace them Raghavendra Venkatesh yes sir so with what values we need to replace these missing values mean and median values sir. okay so mean or median right so, yes, so here we will try to replace these values with the mean value okay 
let us see how we can do that now okay <coughs> so for that i need to uh, get an access to these two columns okay so how do you get an access to these columns using the index location yes so now data dot i lock okay so how do you get the access to these two columns what are the row and column numbers yes what are the row and column numbers so let us see that now how we are sklearn is also called as scikit-learn it's a meaning scientific kit for machine learning okay so this is a library okay which provides you with the so most of the the machine learning algorithms inbuilt okay it provides you most of the classification algorithms regression algorithms so these two are supervised methods and then also it provides you the libraries required for clustering that is unsupervised learning okay the dimensionality reduction you can use it for model selection and also for pre processing your data okay that's what we are going to learn it now right okay so pre processing your learn uh, data okay data standardization mean removal variance scaling like many are there okay normalization encoding categorical features so i mentioned it encoding right label encoding one hot encoding imputing of the missing values okay so this is one of the method which we are going to use it here okay so if you look at here like uh, it is showing like how and with what value we can uh, replace and all there are few examples are there okay so we'll uh, do that on uh, on a, our particular example which we are going to use it okay so let us try this uh specifically <coughs> uh reading the data uh, like library called as from sklearn dot preprocessing scientific kit learn dot preprocessing in that preprocessing library i am importing the imputer method so just import it okay just print data so let me check uh, import and import sk learn okay from sk learn dot preprocessing import imputer mm. one minute let me check so sometimes because of the version conflict it may not import it okay the required libraries okay so uh, you just type here simple imputer okay quickly type here so uh, rain is coming all of a sudden okay so give me second i'll just come back
yes guys as mentioned replace here with the simple imputer okay so here i'll replace it with simple imputer okay so simple imputer is for the newer version okay so in online it will be always a new version will be used okay so so let me mm it should work so my scale learn dot Impute, import, simple imputer. Okay, this is in the new version. Depends on which version of the uh, libraries you are using it. Okay. Yeah. So once this uh, library has been imported, okay. So all of you check this code. This will work now. Sklearn dot imputer. From sklearn dot impute import simple imputer. Okay, this is in the latest version. Okay, so once this is done, okay, so the next step will be, okay, so to uh, pass on the data to which you want to impute, apply the imputation. That is to handle the missing values. Okay, so what we'll do is, so let us. Uh, import the simple imputer method and create an object for that that is called as missing so this is the object name I'm using it create simple imputer object so just you need to create an object okay so this will create the uh, object okay <clears throat> so now what I'll do is I'll write missing dot fit okay mm. that particular data set whichever is basically being used okay so I'll be using that in order to fit the data okay so let me show you how we are doing this so before you apply uh, fit method okay so there is a strategies which you you need to choose it okay so what are the strategies you are going to use and all so i'll, I'll discuss it now okay like when we have a more classes on these constant okay because so these concepts will be used regularly in all the classes okay in the simple imputer method so i'm going to put the missing values as nan okay so let me take this and put it into that particular my code okay so which i was writing it okay here so now missing values is equal to nan okay and the strategy i'm using is mean strategy i'm using is mean okay so this is the information i'm feeding it here okay so with this I'll, I'm creating an object with this basic setting one second NAN is not understood okay so let us write capital N A yeah. okay You need to write it in a inverted code so please write it in a inverted code. so it will look for nan values and wherever it finds that nan values it is going to replace them with the mean value okay so now i'm going to use this missing method okay and apply it onto the my code uh, my input data frame okay so let me apply it onto my input data frame okay so let us see how it is going to be applied okay so in case you like to see an example you have you'll be having an example here first you will create a method 
so then you will apply the fit method onto the input data frame okay so wherever it finds all the nn values it is it will get it will replace them with the uh, mean values you can see that example here okay so first you apply the fit method then you do the transform method okay so let us try this one now okay now missing is equal to missing dot fit of okay you can mark your complete data frame you like to okay so first i'll show it with the data when you feed the complete data what will happen okay and then what you will do is okay your data is equal to let me show this transform method okay so here i'll just transform it print missing dot transform of your input data okay Okay, cannot use mean strategy with the non numeric data could not convert the string to float friends okay so so now what i'm doing is i'm trying to apply it under the whole data frame okay so it finds out that there are few uh, non numeric values are there okay so when you applying a mean strategy make sure that you pass on the inputs only the columns which are having a numerical values okay when your strategy is mean it's indicating that cannot use the mean strategy with a non numeric data now because i feed it the complete data in complete data frame you know that okay it is having both uh, uh, numeric data and uh, the string data okay string data is called as uh, what do you call object here in uh, python okay so in pandas so that we saw it yesterday okay so now i am applying it instead of applying it to the whole data frame okay apply it under the exactly the values which are required that is two columns okay so what are those two columns okay mention those two column names here okay what are the column names all the rows okay so i require the first column that is zeroth column is not required i require first and the second column okay so two column names you need to mention to one colon three that means first and second will be considered here okay and then you are going to transform the two columns okay so let me show you this colon comma 1 colon 3 okay this is also not taking up that input so because you need to mention that particular index location So first i created an object with the missing values as nan strategy as mean okay so then i applying the fit method okay to create a fit method first you use a simple imputer dot fit okay so you i am looking for the particularly the two columns okay so that is column number 1 and column number 2 okay so i am taking that values column number says 1 colon 3 after that so i am printing missing dot transform okay so missing the transform will uh, change the particular column numbers 1 and 3 with the mean values whatever you had taken it you can see here it is 3.877 that is the mean value which has been replaced in this column the values are actually uh, null here spain okay so this is i'm just printing the transformed values so let me do replace this in the original data frame okay data dot uh, data of uh, all the rows comma 1 colon 3 okay is equal to 
so this uh, transform method which we are trying it can apply any is one minute date or dot So I am taking a looking at this locations and now I'll print my original data. Okay, and you will see the difference now. Guys, you see this is the original values where the Spain has again an AN age factor. Now it has been replaced with the new value 38.778. Okay, and in the this Germany fourth row. Okay, this uh, salary slab was NAN. Now it has been replaced with the average of that one. That is 63,777. So this way, it is one time it is confusing at the beginning. Okay, so the same method is applicable. Okay, so only thing which start changing is the column numbers which you are going to use it here. Okay, so you can take note of this particular code. Okay, and so and this code will be repeatedly will be using it. Okay, this code will be repeatedly using it. Okay. So that is first we need to create an object that will be common. Okay, what is the object name is missing? You can use you any name of your choice. Okay. Once the object has been created, the next thing is to apply the fit method onto the data columns. Okay. So columns which are uh, required. Say example, if the strategy is most frequent, you cannot apply it onto the numerical value so it is better we will apply it on the categorical data when we have a categorical data so then i'll apply the most frequent one okay say example in this column if there are some missing data okay so then i'll apply the strategy as most frequent and i'll replace the, and i'll use the particular column number here okay and then apply the transform method this is the thing which you are going to do it this is just for printing purpose i taken up this is not required okay so just to showcase these columns i use that okay so directly you want to replace it in the original data so transform the data and replace that new values in the original columns okay so then i'm just uh, printing that information here okay so you're able to see that replaced values okay. any questions guys